Hey guys, how's everyone doing? This is your guy Assassin Dave and welcome back to another Dave React. Today we got a horror chance video. My Wild Rift experience, opinion about the game. It's actually quite interesting because horror chance is a YouTube sensation for Mobile Legends. One of the biggest YouTubers for Mobile Legends. And it turned out this person is actually a new mobile player, right? Uh, mobile Legends is actually the first game ever. I figure 90% of y'all actually have a similar experience where Mobile Legends is the first MOBA. Now, Wild Rift is coming out, so I want to take a look at Horror Chan's reaction to see how this person likes it, how Horror Chan likes it. And the reason why I keep on referring to Horror Chan as this person because I really don't know his or her gender or its gender. <laughs> it's, it's 21st century, you gotta be careful with what you say nowadays. But yeah, I really don't know Horror Chan's gender, so I'm just gonna go ahead and call this person. But let's jump into the video. You know what? I'm just gonna refer Horror Chan as he because I, I don't know his gender. And a lot of people tell me that Horror Chan is a guy. So I'm going to refer to Horror Chan as a he. If it's a she, then you need to DM me, okay? Basically, recently Horror Chan has been made quite a bit of League of Legends Valorant video about his first experience about this hero and that hero. Uh, obviously, the gameplay are pretty cringe, but it's pretty realistic. This is my first time playing League of Legends Valorant. It was confusing at first, but since I had a little mobile experience, you're talking about Mobile Legends. By the way, Mobile Legends is not a mobile experience, okay? It's MMORPG, so get the facts right. I could manage to play this game. You know, this is this is actually true for a lot of people. I think most people will manage to play Wild Rift, but then you will be turned down by the difficulties. However, though, the game is so beautiful, it might actually make you stay. Since my first mobile game is Mobile Legends, so all I know from mobile game is from there. First, the average game matches. Yeah, talk, talking about average game time, I believe. I feel like ML has faster average game than Mobile Wild Rift. Uh, that's guaranteed. So, this is actually not true anymore. In ML, you can manage to win a match in six to eight minutes. That will never happen. Like, like that will never happen anymore. Right now in ML, if you want to win a match, unless enemy surrender, the minimum amount of time is like over 12 minutes, 10 to 12 minutes, right? On average, the game lasts about 15, 20 and over. It's frequently seen 30 minutes games. While it's not possible in Wild Rift, average is about 15, 20 minutes. You can see that most of the matches around 18 to 20 minutes. Yeah, basically showing the average game time. Oh, this was solo games. In ML, my solo game is a lot faster. <laughs> I don't know horror, horror chance rank. Um, sure. So all battle spells starts in League of Legends. You know, a lot of other games copied it. Uh, Mobile Legends obviously did the same. There are quite a bit of different battle spells, and then it's called just called spells. No, obviously I'll leave that to you guys to explore once you get to our rift. Um, but most of them are similar. Most are exactly similar. I think here is you showing ignite. Ignite is the same thing as execute. It just does damage, right? It also ignite stop you from healing. Execute just kills you. So, and you don't use ignite when they're full HP because you know ignite damage is limited. It's when you use it to finish off a kill when they're tiny HP left. So the same thing as execute. Execute can just kill somebody, no problem. Yeah, this is absolutely true regarding emblems, which makes the game pretty fair. Because um, League of Legends have made a public announcement. I mean, e Legend Wild Rift has made a public announcement. They're gonna make sure that all runes are free, right? So when you start the count, you get a fully charged rune. So you can uh, use everything, but that doesn't mean you know how to do it. You still have to learn or watch some YouTube videos to figure out the best rune combinations for your heroes. And or just play the game a lot and then figure out test different things and see which one fits your need the best. Uh, Wild Rift, overall, the game is pretty fair. You don't get uh, stats either from skins, where in Mobile Legends you get stats from skins. <laughs> Interesting. Wild Rift has boost enhancement. Yeah, we'll talk about the game is a lot more complicated. Even boost, starting at level 1, you're gonna have active items if you want to. There's no such items in ML. This enhancement can be pretty handy in battles. Oh, of course. Next is skin and prices. Oh, this is the best part. You can't expect a good effect if you're buying normal, elite, or special skin. Even some epic skins are trash. Absolutely true, 100 freaking percent. Let's talk about the Hayabusa skin. I mean, what is that? The new Starlight skin that costs like $5, I think is a lot better than the epic skin. If you agree with me, leave a comment down below. Like, I literally do think the epic skin on Hayas just sucks, right? And there's no special effects when Hayas does anything. Really, you can tell because ultimate is immune. So they really make some effects, like when Haya uses use ultimate or something, like the Apex said, you need to make the slash effect more vivid, right? Make Haya put a swa 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 swa, something like that, right? Or Haya skill too. In the Starlight skin, you leave a little shadow, or in the uh, Apex skin, it does nothing. It's a regular skill too, nothing changed. Look at Eudora Apex skin. Like, who, how many people are using that Apex skin? That skin is ugly AF, you know, like, what? And it costs 
200 bucks, right? 100 bucks, 200 bucks to buy them. All the epic skin goes through the, the draw boxing now. I can't afford a single skin out of the entire draw. So legend skin costs you anywhere between 200 and 500 dollars. Gord legend skin is ugly AF, right? If you <laughs> happen to get the Gord Abyss skin, that skin is 10 times better than the Gord legend skin. Spitting facts over here, Horror Chen. While in Raw Rift, the skins are way cheaper and pretty good too. Yep. I mean, League of Legends Wall, League of Legends Wall Rift skins, they're more focused on in-game effects. The intro of the skin are really, really short compared to the intro from uh, Mobile Legends. Intro in Mobile Legends lasts forever. What's the point? Like, I didn't buy the skin for the animation, right? I can see pretty good animes on YouTube. I bought a skin for the in-game effects when I'm trying to flash it off. I, I guess right now in Mobile Legends, buying skins just to show off that I have money and you don't. Skins in ML 90% pure disappointments. <laughs> God damn, what is going on, Horror Chan? A platform that is giving you millions of how many subscribers does he have now? 2.52 million subscribers. Oh my god. Mobile Legends developers are gonna die in their grave now, like with our eye open. They're like, what the fuck do we do promoting this guy's channel? 90% of the skin's pure disappointments. I wouldn't say that. I mean, if the skin are it's a free market, right? You make a skin, uh, it takes the developer a lot of time actually. A lot of effort to make a skin. Imagine how much creativity that has going into a skin. Obviously, like I said, I agree the skins are overpriced and then their in-game effects are really average, but I wouldn't say 90% are a disappointment, right? I mean, if you don't like them, you don't have to buy them. Obviously, Horror Chan bought all of them because uh, this channel is really the first channel to show off skins. I feel like when I play the game, I can't feel the fast, quick reaction. For example, Lancelot dashing through the minions, leaving his soul behind. You can pretty much feel the smoothness of the game. You're talking about ML. <laughs> Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, Horizon doesn't know how to play Lancelot. I mean, it also looks brighter. I don't know if that's the right word. It's more cartoonish, where League of Legends War with the color coding is more realistic. Um, darker, right? But last hit on creeps and minions is better in War Rift. Oh, of course. In War Rift, you have, if you don't last hit minions, you get only 30% of the gold, of the total gold. If last hit, you get all the gold. On well, ML, there is last last year too, but there's no notice or sign like in Wild Rift. I mean, in ML, you can buy your items anytime, true. Well, you need to go home in Wild Rift. This is a comparison video that I made, right? If you bet, if you want to check out the comparison, you can go ahead. I don't think Wild Rift is hard, difficult for ML players to play. Everyone starts from zero. Um, true, because it's a new game. I understand 90% mobile, play, mobile, mobile players never played any other mobile before. So it is gonna be a new experience for a lot of you. And then veteran players who play League of Legends uh, before and they play mobile, mobile uh, like I have, um, they're gonna surface to the high rank really fast. They're not gonna stay in low elo ranks really uh, like for a long time. With that being said, if you come to the game, it is a fair it is a fair game for everybody. So my honest opinion, Wild Rift is nice and fun and a bit more challenging because of the fog. But if you ask me which one is better, ML or Wild Rift, ML has shorter game than Wild Rift. I've had my eyesight, uh, I have bad eyesight, so I prefer shorter games. My eyes hurts when the game is longer than 15, 20 minutes. I don't know if people have that problem. I, th I think that's, I had a friend before who had similar problems, cannot stare at a little screen for a long time. Uh, true. But then ML's game lasts stupid long right now. I mean, unless you're living under a rock. Because Horror Chen has been playing Wild Red for the past week. So maybe like, he just haven't played the game that much. And Horror, the Horror Chen does experiments and uh, news videos. Dude, at Horror Chen, if you haven't played ML, come back. It's gonna take you 20, 30 minutes to finish off a game. Guaranteed. So, in that aspect, I don't think you're gonna ex have the ML shorter gaming experience. And finally, the skins and its prices. Yeah, all the Legend Wild Rift skins are around 10, 15 dollars, US dollars. Definitely Wild Rift skin are worth it. While we can expect color changes and scale effects from ML, <laughs> we can expect color changes, color changes, oh my god. ML skins are so expensive, I spent like $200 for the Veruno skin. Talking about Bruno skin? I do think I can continue playing, okay. But I also don't think that it's enough to make me quit ML. Yeah. You're a YouTuber, you make content. So yeah, that's my honest opinion. Both games are playable. I can tell you this right now. For a lot of people who says, who says I'm gonna play both games, that's bullshit to me. You're never gonna be able to play both games, okay, ever. You're gonna quit a game to play another. And then when you get, once you get bored of a game, you're gonna pause that game to go back to the original game. But you can only play one game at a time. Two games, you know mobile game is a strategy game. Once you get into the game, the thing that hook you in is not just, um, the, you know, oh, this game is fun, let me play it. It's like the stuff that you wanna explore, right? Okay, I can use the skill to do this. I watched the video and then yeah, so it used the EQ flash on the phone, right? How does it do that? Like skill three, skill one flash, and then do the ultimate. That's so, such a flashy combo. I wanna do that myself. And then you go into the game, you find out that you can do it. It took you like 100 tries, still failed it. Um, so you keep on trying it. That's the beauty of MOBA. You get, you get sucked into it because you wanna improve, you wanna dig deep deeper. 
And then there's so much more to learn, especially Wild Rift, there's so much depth to the game. So if you really like Wild Rift, I don't think you're gonna switch back. Unless you get a, you get bored of it. Like after a year, you're like, oh shit, this game is garbage. And you're gonna go back to ML because you already spent $10,000 in the game. You're like, you know, I miss my old Bruno skin. Let me go back to it. That's I think that's the only realistic way. But I think no can beat him out when it comes to trashy, expensive skins. <laughs> I mean, come on, in Wild Rift, default skin of each champions have unique recall animations. Yeah, that's true. Every single hero has recall animations, not, I mean, you can call it default skins. While our heroes in ML stare into nothing. <laughs> so many animations, effects, and sound in wall rifts. Yeah, for, for different heroes when, when they do different things. While ML has always been the same, except the legend skin that costs almost 300 bucks. And more, and more. So if you want to play Wild Rift, it's the same MOBA as ML, but it has different system. But it's clear to me that ML is easier, a lot, a lot way easier. Okay, I guess it's a lot easier to learn and play the game. That's my Wild Rift experience. All right, coming as a new player, but I guess two things Horatan said. As a new player, he felt like it's easy, it's easy for him to adapt to learn the game. And that's really good. I don't have that background. I uh, played MOBA since I was in college, and that's been like, what, a long time ago? <laughs> So I don't have that luxury to come from a new mobile player experience. Now, how do you feel, right? Leave a comment down below. Let me know about your experience playing Wild Rift. If you happen to have closed beta access. Now, Wild Rift, I heard North America or global launch is probably near. It's probably soon because um, a lot of people are rumoring that um, Worlds is end of this month. League of Legends Worlds, right? World Championship, similar to Mobile Legends M2, but League of Legends obviously on a whole different level. And they're gonna try to try to push the schedule to announce Wild Rift on the Worlds. Um, maybe, maybe. We don't know that yet, but hopefully that happens. If that happens, it's gonna be launched as early as early November or end of October. That's two weeks from now. So stay tuned, guys. Leave a comment down below if you like this video. Drop the like, subscribe, and turn that bell on. With that, love you guys. This is Dave signing off. Bye now. Just for the thrill of it. Nothing counterfeit with you, just the thrill of it